Hey, um, my name is Alex. Today is October 4, 2017. I'm in the 10th grade school. Um, how school so far? Pretty good, I guess. Um, what's your favorite song right now? Mm, Logic, Black Spider-Man. What was the last movie you saw and was it good or bad? Uh, it was it. It was funny and scary at the same time. But yeah. What was the most memorable thing that happened in the first week of school? Mm, well, my teacher quit. Yeah, that was that was weird. He quit. He left. He left us. What was the most, <laughs> what are, what are you most looking forward to in this upcoming school year? Meeting new people and passing all my classes. What's going What's going to be the hardest thing about this upcoming school year? Trying to keep my 2.0 GPA. What are the goals you have for this school year? Pass my classes, have good grades, and I don't know, um, meeting new people, I guess. That's three goals I have. What's your favorite fast food place? Subway. It's really good. Um, what's the oldest photo on your phone? Mm, uh, I think it's, I don't know. I, they took my phone away because I have an F in my class. So, yeah, rip phone. What's the major event, events do you think you will go to? A football game. I haven't went to a game yet. I'm trying to go. I don't know. Um, what do you think is going to be the biggest change in, in you between now and the end of school year? Um, not Try not to be so shy. You know, I'm kind of shy, so... Mm. Come on, guy. One more. One more. Give me ten, bro. Ten. Oh, oh fuck, I can't fuck something already. <clears throat> Alright, so this is going to be my final video diary. Number one, stay in the memorable place at Boca High School and tell us why it's a memorable place. So I have a little clip I'm going to show you. It's a weight training room where sometimes I skip there with my coach. Lift weights, you know, try to get big. And two, where do you, just, where do you spend your most of the time other than at your house? Well, Don't see where I spend most of my time at. Well, let me let me let me log in real quick. See if I'm offline and watching. Got time to play. So this is basically still in my house. This is my PC right here, right? All right, all right. Yeah, I just pulled it. And this is where I spend half of my time. Ever loads. Just keep waiting. Here's my second home. Oh, it's not loading. Come on, load. Can I make me wait here? I'm real cool if I turn the lights off. Oh, uh, it's ready. Cause I'm gonna be a terrorist. Not I'm gonna be a cop. So oh, this, this is where I spend half my time. This is it. This right here. This is my house actually. <laughs> so that's where I spend half my time. Oh, let's go back to this shit. Let me log out because it's dying out. Leave this game. No. Nope. Alright. Number two, where will you be in 10 years here, I guess? Or well, probably working, moving out. Probably moved out already by that time. Uh, what was the best memory of last year? Last year was crazy. Uh, I don't know. 
who was the most number five? Who was the most memorable teacher at this school? The first grade teacher. Lit, like that class is lit. She's like my favorite teacher from all my wrestling teacher. Well, first period and my third period class. You skate hill. And my first grade teacher. Both of you are just me. funny too. Mm, do you ever have a conflict with your teachers? Yes. Yes, I did. My seventh period class, Miss Pitts. Hate that bitch. I don't like class. Since day one, I walked into her class. I already knew it was going to be bad. Number eight, what was the best film, movie, and video that you saw? Oh yeah, good point. That movie was lit too. <laughs> what was one thing you remember as Kayla said? Oh, easy. He, let's give, let's give Kayla his jump gun, right? Why not? What would be your dream job after you graduate high school? It's not gonna win though. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> uh, I want to be a police officer actually. I want to be a cop. Number 11, you work with each other in school in a year in one song, what would it be? What would the song be? I would try to find a song and I would put in this clip if I find one. Number 12, why your favorite person in the video? Say no more. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Let's see. He answers, where can I call him? Oh, okay, whatever. Just don't answer me. Well, you know, you don't want to talk to us. Whatever. Fucking okay. don't need Oh, <laughs> number uh, 13. What's one more thing? Don't pass your class, whatever. <laughs> 14. Is there anyone that I fuck ask you like tanks? Tanks, you. Wow, ah, shit, Mr. Henry. He really cares. He takes, he really wants us to be successful in life. Checks up grades and stuff. Thank you, Mr. Harry, for doing that, I guess. Wrap it up. How do you like to hold to be remembered? Lonely kid. Yeah, some of lonely. I'm quiet in class, too. Don't even talk a lot. But we have friends in my class, then. Get in trouble, so. That's all, guys. Oof. Um, my name is Aubriana Lanine, and it is September 28th, 2017. Um, I'm in 10th grade. Um, this school year has been, like, okay, but it's been very stressful because there's been a lot of homework. Um, my favorite song right now, I really don't have one because there's so many to choose from. The last movie that I saw, and was it good, was the Spider-Man Homecoming movie, which was over the summer. I haven't gone to the movies in so long, but it was mainly because Tom Holland was in it, and I like adventurous movies, so it was a good movie. Um, the most memorable thing that has happened so far this year was definitely like the week off that we had from the hurricane, because that was fun, and we had a lot of like free time, so that was good. Um, what are you most looking forward to in this upcoming school year? Probably have to be like the last day of school because summer. What is going to be the hardest thing about this upcoming school year is definitely going to be the AP World exam. Thanks, Mr. Anchel, because I mean, he's going to prepare us well, but still going to be pretty hard. Um, my three goals for this school year is to have a higher GPA, hopefully, to make new friends and to get involved in some more extra like curricular activities. Um, my favorite fast food place is Chick-fil-A because it is so good. Um, the oldest photo on my phone is a picture of me and my ex-best friend. And it's of when we were like in like fifth grade. So I was probably like nine or 10. And we're like standing on the floor and we're like posing like this. It's so awkward. Um, 
when was the last time you laughed really hard? So my friend sent me this photo and it was of these like people and this dog and their heads were like all morphed and like photoshopped and it was so funny to me. It's so stupid, but like it was hilarious at the time. Um, hmm. Major school events that I'll be going to are homecoming. Um, I've been to the football games. Um, I'll probably go to like plays if like I have friends in them. The chorus concerts because I'm in chorus, so I'll obviously be there. What do you think is going to be the biggest change in between me now and the end of school? It's definitely probably going to be like me becoming more independent as a person because I'm going to try and work on that and hopefully that'll change. <clears throat> if I could describe my life right now in a song, it would probably be Three Little Birds by Bob Marley because it talks about like to not worry and stuff and like school is very stressful so I'm trying not to worry too much so hopefully that'll go good. Okay. Hey guys it's Aubriana. Um, this is my final video diary um, <laughs> from the previous clip of the beginning of the year of sophomore year. You've probably seen that I haven't changed that much to the end of sophomore year so it's kind of sad <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Um, so we're just going to answer these questions. So the first one is to stand in a memorable spot at Apopka and tell us why it's memorable. And I already took that clip, so I'll insert that now. So this is probably my most memorable place at school because this is where I get to exit and leave school every single day. Okay, so number two is where'd you spend most of my time other than my house? Hmm. That would probably be at Jessica's house because she lives like down the street in the same neighborhood as me. And we're always together, like whether it's like after school or on weekends like sometimes people ask us if we live together because we're like together that much but we don't live together we have separate houses and separate families <laughs> so yeah um where will I be in 10 years okay so hopefully in 10 years I will be graduated from college um maybe be a prenatal nurse because that's what I really want to be so yeah maybe that uh, hmm. probably have a house, um, maybe have a husband, probably not kids yet, because I'll only be like 26, I mean, sometimes people have kids at 26, it's like early, but, I mean, who knows, yeah, so, next one is, what is my best memory of last year, <clears throat> hmm, my best memory of last year would probably have to be my 16th birthday party, which was, I went to the beach with some of my friends, um, St. Augustine, and we stayed the night down there for a night. Um, yeah, that was really fun because, like, just being around, like, the people that I enjoy, like, to have around me the most were with me, and they made it really fun and extra special, so it was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, what was my most memorable teacher? I have that clip here, so... So this would have to be my favorite teacher, oh, Mr. Anchel. Oh, I can't watch Star Wars now, so I can do this video for you. So excited. Yay. Stop! <laughs> yeah, they actually my video. Like, say something. I did. I just said something. I want to be oh, No, this is going to be on YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. In 2020. So catch this on YouTube in 2020. Gonna have the world's going to be haters. gone by 2020. You guys Why are going to destroy it. What the freak? I'm not gonna destroy it. Your daughter. We're making it better. Her oh, generation. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Angel! <laughs> Come back. Angel's like in oh, love with Star no. Wars. Um, fun fact oh, sorry. about Angel. It is a good fact. And he like cites everything. Not everything. Ev yes, everything. <laughs> Angel. What? Let me speak. He's like. <laughs> he looks like a little girl. <laughs> Very rude. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to talk me up as to uh, why I'm such an awesome person? That's what she did. She like really talked me up and told why I was amazing. He prepared me for the AP exam. That's what Which we failed. Yeah, which we both probably failed. Well, Loki, well, I think I got a two or three, so. Yeah. Yay, two. <laughs> hey. Hey, it's good enough. Hey. At least, actually, it's not good enough for me. I need a pass because this whole this year. Is not a good what was what was that? You want to say it to my face? This is not a good <laughs> <laughs> You know what's better? Star Wars. Um, 
um, do you want to say like anything? Um. To my fa my family could be watching this. My children could be watching this. My twenty twenty. No, no, I'm talking about like after twenty. No, I'm talking about like after twenty twenty. Cause like I can show them when. It's too soon. <laughs> Don't be about... watching this yet. <laughs> I'm talking about like later on in life, like when I go back to YouTube and like I show my children this oh. when I was in high school. When you were in high school. Yeah. This is what high school used to look like. This is what teachers used to look like. They're not always this old. Yeah. Though. Like, no, they're not some, always. There's some young ones. Yeah. <laughs> I could be watching Star Wars right now. And you're sitting there making fun of me. So, ush baka douche, ush baka douche. And yeah, I think the, the video came out good. Mazel tov. Okay. Wait, is that what you do in weddings? Wait. Is that what you do in weddings? He really didn't no. enjoy this. What? Is that what you do in weddings? <laughs> Okay, what was the most memorable moment that, or the most memorable moment that happened in the film slash TV production class? Um, that would probably be, okay, there was this kid in, like, the back of the classroom to the left, like, he sat way in the back, and, like, he always made, like, unnecessary comments or, like, jokes or something, and, like, I don't know, sometimes it would just annoy people, and then sometimes people would laugh, like, it would just depend on the day and, like, everyone's mood, but, um, so... A moment that I remember is like he sometimes would wear like costumes or like weird like I'm sorry my dog's barking but like weird like glasses or something like with like fake noses on them I remember he did that yesterday he came into class with that on but one time he came into like class with this like I can't even remember what costume he was wearing but he was wearing like some costume and it was like a full-out like onesie like he was dressed like the whole thing and everyone was just like looking at him like what are you wearing like why would you wear that to school? Like, that's so embarrassing. But, like, he didn't care. And, like, he had... I don't know. It was really funny, though. But everyone thought it was funny. So, that was probably the most memorable moment. Um, what was the best film that we saw in the class? That would probably have to be... Um, oh, The Impossible or um, Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl. Because I love, like, both of the storylines for those. Like, The Impossible was really, like, adventurous. But, like... The meaning was really cool, and then I loved Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl because it was just really sad, but it was so cute. Um, what is one thing you remember that Skate said or did this year? Hmm. Oh, okay. The thing that I remember most that Skate would do is he would always do this thing, like, if people would start talking and he was trying to talk at, the, like, the same time, he'd be like, me first, you second, and, like, he'd always do that. I don't know why. But, like, he always made everyone laugh. Like, no matter what he said, it was always funny. Like, I don't know. Maybe it was, like, his tone of voice. But, like, you could be, like, so sad. And, like, he would just say something random. And, like, everyone would just, like, laugh. I don't know. He's just, like, a really funny person. So, okay, let's see what we have next. Um, what would be my dream job after I graduate high school? Um, a prenatal nurse because I really want to go into the medical field. And I've always wanted to be a prenatal nurse. Or a pediatrician, but that takes a lot of school, so probably not that. <laughs> um, if you could describe your school year in one song, what would this song be? Hmm. Oh, that would definitely be the song Stressed Out by 21 Pilots. I know that's like so basic, but like literally like this whole year I've been so stressed, mainly because of AP World, but our AP exam was last Thursday, like the stress is gone. Now I'm stressing about our other exams because we have like all of our EOC exams this week for our final classes, but I only have three left, so I love how I just put up two fingers when I said three. Okay, three left. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I'll pass them. Probably gonna take an L, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, Stressed Out by 21 Pilots would describe me this year. Okay, now invite your favorite person in the video and explain why, so I'll insert that clip here. Okay, so who my favorite person is would have to be Jessica, because I'm always with her, and she's like my best friend, and we have like the best times together, yes. and the best memories, yes. and your little Prius. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Rest in peace, Priscilla. Um, so is there anything you want to say? Um, I just want to say that I love nature. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. 
I love Aubrey. She's literally like the best person in the school. Like I have so much fun with her and she's Aww. like so pretty. As you can see, like <gasps> Aubrey watching this in 2020, you're gonna be like, ew, I look so ugly, but stop. <laughs> stop right there because look at this, you look so pretty. <laughs> anyway, so sweet. So, yeah. Me and Aubrey, we're always hanging out. Like we literally yeah. spend every day together and when people ask us if we live together, like that's like really? Yeah, don't you remember Tegan asked us if we live together? Dang, what the freak? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah, like, she's always at my house, and we're always, like, chilling. Eating food. <laughs> yeah, we're always eating food. But, yeah, um, I'd say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, wait, actually, what? no, actually, okay, um, if we're not friends anymore by the time you're watching. <gasps> hey, hey, guys. guys. <laughs> so. It's like we have a YouTube channel or something. So welcome back to Justin Aubrey's our yeah. YouTube channel, and today we're gonna be vlogging about school. school. <laughs> so we're at school right now. We're on the third floor. On the third floor. Five hundred building. A little tempting not to jump, but <laughs> you know. A little, okay, we only have six days left. Yeah, There's actually six five. Six days left. Five days left. I have a math exam today and I'm really scared English because everyone's exam. been saying it's hard. I really feel like teachers are like watching us. It's like we're like this. Oh. <laughs> Teacher's staring at us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's staring at us. Oh my gosh, she was looking directly at us. She was literally looking directly at us. Oh my gosh. That's cool. And I know her. Oh my god. You know her? Who's that? Oh my gosh. Anyways, so oh, there's a lady over there. Okay, we're doing okay. Anyways, so yeah. That was our number one attempt to jump off the building. End it. <laughs> Cause you know, a pop could just tempt oh you gosh, this lighting keeps going in and out. I'm really sorry. And we're just like, okay, wish these people in here can hear us. Pose. Pose. Okay, so you guys just saw that video clip of Jessica for my favorite person. But I have another video clip and it has literally all of my favorite people in it, so all my best friends. And I didn't want to just leave it at that though because I didn't really get to talk to them and like interview them, I guess. But yeah, that's why I did Jessica too, but like interviewed her basically, if that makes sense. So yeah, the, here's that clip. Okay, so these are my favorite people. I can't hear you! <laughs> okay, so the next one is, what is one major thing that you learned that you did not learn in the classroom? Okay, so one major thing that I learned would definitely be like who my real friends are. Like you definitely learn who your real friends are in high school. And this happened to me because, <clears throat> so middle school and elementary school, I went to a private school. So our private school was really small. So I grew up with like the same like 15 people like my whole entire life. And like the same like five girls, like we were like best friends, but um, when I got to high school, like, I stayed close to, like, one of them, but, like, the rest of them just kind of, like, left. But the thing is, is, like, they're all sort of friends, but, like, I'm not really part of their friend group anymore, which, I mean, it doesn't really bother me that much because, like, I have, like, really good friends in my life right now, and I'm so thankful that, like, I've got these people in my life right now. But, yeah, so definitely be, like, you learn who your real friends are because in high school, you get, like, different groups of friends and everyone just, like, ventures out to, like, I don't know, they meet new people, basically, so, yeah, you definitely learn who your real friends are. Um, hmm. <clears throat> Is there anyone at Apopka High School that you would like to thank, and why? Okay, I would like to thank Miss Schaefer because she's my chorus teacher for freshman year and this year, and she's always, like, pushing me to do something, like, higher than what I'm expected. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, she's always pushing me to achieve goals that like I feel like I couldn't to like go higher and higher like I don't I don't know okay I'm really bad at explaining things I'm really sorry but if you get what I'm saying but she, yeah she's inspired me to like stay like in music and stay in chorus so I would like to thank her for being um inspirational and um always pushing me to achieve my goals um how would I like to be remembered okay oh, okay I would like love to be remembered as like a happy and like positive person like always trying to make people smile because I hate it when things get like negative and like sad and stuff like I've, I've always tried to be like a happy person in general like I never try to be like negative but 
I don't know, like, if I could be remembered as one thing, like, I'd, I'd want to be remembered as someone that, like, makes people smile or someone that's, like, always happy and positive, so, yeah. Okay, well, that concludes my video diary. Um, apparently this is supposed to be on YouTube, so if it's there, hi guys. <laughs> Again, so sorry for that. Okay, <laughs> bye. Okay, so I forgot to say when I had conflict with my teacher, but the one time that I had conflict with my teacher was in fourth grade, and it was because my one friend felt left out because I had like two best friends in fourth grade, and my one best friend wanted to talk to me about something that was like going on in her life, but she didn't want to say in front of like the other girl. So like we went away from her and we told her like, oh, hey, can you like not follow us for a second? Like she has something like serious she wants to tell me. And she got really butt her and like started crying and like went to everyone in our class and made like everyone in our class like hate me and like my other best friend. And so like the whole class hated us and then she went to the teacher and she was like bawling her eyes out and made this like huge story up. So basically, <laughs> we got in a lot of trouble and like we went out in the hallway and like our teacher was like screaming at us and yelling at us while we were like bawling our eyes out because I'd never gotten like in serious trouble before. So yeah, that was the first time that I had conflict with my teacher. I know. My name is Brooke Schultz. I'm in 10th grade. School is going all right, I guess. My favorite song right now is probably Hills and Valleys by, I have no idea, Taryn someone. The last movie I saw was It, and it was pretty good. I don't like clowns anymore, though. Um, the most memorable thing that happened in the first weeks of school was probably the hurricane, which I'm sure everybody's saying. But we got a week off of school, so it was good. The um, thing I'm most looking forward to this upcoming school year is probably start a high school soccer season and homecoming. Three goals I have for the school year are to get good grades, <laughs> um, and just, I guess, just finish with good grades. Um, my favorite fast food place is probably Chick-fil-A. It's good. The oldest picture I have on my phone is a picture of me and my boyfriend from 2015. I kept it because it's funny. <laughs> um, last time I laughed really hard was probably last night after my practice. We always get smoothies after practice, and for some reason they always make me really hyper and crazy. I don't know why, but um, major school events I'll go to are probably homecoming and all the football games. Um, the biggest change between now and the end of school is probably who I hang out with the most, I guess, maybe. Um, and if I can describe my life in one song right now, uh, probably be <laughs> happy because I'm happy all the time. One major thing that I learned that I didn't learn in a classroom was choose friends carefully because if you choose your wrong friends, they're gonna think you do wrong things that'll get you in trouble. And don't let people pressure you into doing things. Because if you don't want to do it, don't do it. There's no reason to. So, choose friends. My favorite film was the one, the movie Impossible with like the tsunami and crap. Yeah. The most memorable thing Skay Hill has said was. Me first, you second. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I will be a gold digger. <laughs> I will be married with two kids and my husband living in the Keys. Rich. 
<laughs> we get lit. God dang it. Memorable <laughs> teacher was probably my history teacher, Mr. Allison, who left halfway through the school year and didn't even tell us where he was going. We just packed up and left. And okay. never heard from him again. What? Cut. <laughs> Wait. Okay, I had some issues with this teacher named Ms. Reyes. She likes all the ghetto kids. And so there's this black girl who didn't do all this all these assignments, but she gave her hundreds for her. And I didn't do them either. And she gave me zeros. And so I got in an argument with her. Cronky. <laughs> As of right now, my favorite person probably is the guy I'm dating, Ben, because a lot of people annoy me and he doesn't. And like, no matter what kind of mood I'm in, he always cheers me up and yeah, because Females are annoying and all they do is cause drama and he has always been there for me through that drama and through things Through personal things so and I love him. So that's why he's my favorite person Just say hi My dream job would probably be a doctor only because they make a lot of money but I'm not trying to go to school for like six years. So I don't know what I'll do. Probably something with sports. Cause that's what I like. Wait. The most memorable moment that probably happened in film class was that kid Josh who sits right next to me and it is really, really annoying. When he wouldn't shut up. So a song that would describe my school year would probably be, it's a really old song and it's kind of stupid, but the song is Scream and Shout by Will I Am because school is horrible and makes you want to scream because these teachers give us way too much homework and it's unnecessary and they just need to stop because it's too much. Like, school year is almost over and we still got like two projects to do. Like, why? This is the memorable place because we want districts. Here, right there. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Whoa, look at that front end of that trailer sticking out. Crawling cake. <laughs> My best memory of last year would probably have been homecoming because freshman year I went with this dude who I didn't really want to go with and it was really boring. We stood outside the circle the whole time. All my friends ditched me. But last year I went with the guy I wanted to go with. We went with all of our friends and it was a lot of fun. But my best friend, she got kicked out because she was drunk and she had to go home and then her mom called me and it was just a big mess. But it was fun at the end. So. I just want to be remembered as the girl who played soccer at the high school that tried her best to have people like her and hopefully people like me too because it probably wasn't nice to everybody but I tried so I hope people remember, remember me as Somebody who tried to be nice, was nice, played some soccer. I just want to thank my friends for getting me through this year without having problems with people. And always let me have a good time and not being in a bad mood. That's what friends are for. <laughs> okay here we go hi my name is jada griffith 
the date is October 2nd, 2017. Also my mom's birthday. <clears throat> Thought y'all should know. Anyways, okay, um, I'm in the 10th grade. And I, school, how was school so far? It's all right, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, just something you do. I mean, I don't love it, I don't hate it. I mean, I'm just ready to go though. I don't like seeing the same people constantly. I just, I despise it. Honestly, I'd rather just be by myself all day. I'm fine with that. But if I don't, my mom might kick my ass, so it's fine. Anyways. <clears throat> For, for, um, wait, what is it? What is your favorite song right now? Okay. Bodak Yellow by Cardi B. Okay, okay. Lil, you can't mess with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes. Come on now. I love that one. That's my sister's anthem right there. Huh. Just, it's my hype music for every game, volleyball game I go to, that's what I listen to. I just, I love it. Okay. <sighs> let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, hmm, what, where was it? Um, what was the last movie you saw and was it good or bad? I don't really watch movies, and if I do, it's always gonna be Friday, starring Ice Cube and Chris Tucker. I love that movie. 10 out of 10, I love that movie. I feel like it relates to my life because I'm always in some shit. And I don't mean to be in it, but it just happens. And I would just, Smokey would be my best friend. Smokey is the best friend, the bestest friend you can ever have. I mean, he's just so <laughs> honest, I don't know. Anyways, so yeah. Um, what's the most memorable thing? memorable thing that has happened the first weeks of school. This hurricane, because it affected me personally because my house lost power for a week and I didn't like that at all. I, it, was, it was really bad for me. I felt trapped. The, the thing that killed me was there was no air conditioning whatsoever. So I mean, no, no phone service. So I couldn't text, call 911, I couldn't do anything. I was just, I was, I was almost living outside. I mean, I thought I could do it too. I was like, okay, it's gonna come back on two, three days. No, no, it didn't, it didn't. So at that point, I, I packed my stuff and I said, mom, I'm leaving. I'm going somewhere else until this power comes back on. She was like, Jada, you're not leaving. I said, I'm leaving. She still didn't believe me. Okay, so I got ready, I called Uber and I left. So I went, <laughs> Dead serious. I went, I went to like four of my friends' house, my auntie's house, cousin's house. I was just not having it. I was very upset, and and they were talking about school. I was like, I'm not going. <laughs> Good times. Okay, let's see. Um, um, <laughs> um. What are you most looking forward to in this upcoming school year? Um, I had a good answer for this one. Okay. I'm looking forward to going to my first homecoming dance. I'm so excited. I was I was a punk last year. All my friends when I was like, no, 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 I don't I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go. And I was like, because I thought it'd be lame, because I don't know. But then I see on, on Snapchat and everyone's getting lit and I'm like, wow, I'm a dumbass because I should have went, but I didn't. So anyways, I'm going this year and I'm getting a nice dress, makeup done, hair did, already know. And yeah, should be fun. Let's see, where's, where's my thing? Okay. Um, what is going to be the hardest thing about this upcoming school year? see um for me I, I'm doing like four or five different things at a time so I think for me the hardest is just gonna be finding time to watch TV because I don't watch TV at all but I watch a lot of shows you know what I'm saying so it's like I just want to find time to watch my TV shows like I watch the challenge 
I watch love and hip hop. Not all of them. I can't. I can't. I can't mess with all of them. I'd be ratchet. <laughs> I don't even mess with the Atlanta one. That's the best one. Jocelyn Hernandez is doing it. Okay. Anyways, I just hope. I just. I just want y'all to um, realize that and understand that. Um. But yeah, I want to just find more time to just watch TV and do nothing. That would just make me happy. And just nap more. I don't sleep. The grind don't stop. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> um. What are three goals you have for this school year? Okay. Let's see. I wrote this one down. One. I just want to pass Spanish too, because I struggle with Spanish. I don't know how I got this far, but if I pass, I'll be good. I just, it will be straight if I could just get through it. I mean, I'm, I always get suck, stuck with the sorriest teachers, and I don't understand why, and especially something with Spanish. I can understand math, because I'm good with math. I can, I can figure it out myself, but Spanish? Um, absolutely not. Okay, second thing I have is join a, what does it say? Join a club. Because I want to get a cord. I like it. It looks nice for graduates. You know those nice, like, pretty cords with all the colors? I want one of those so bad. I don't know. It just, it's different. It's not one of the, you look, I feel like you look basic when you don't have anything around your neck. So I like those. <laughs> it's my goal. And then, what is it? What's the next one? Um, oh, three. Okay. My other goal is just not to entertain any BS from anyone. Because I, I used to do that a lot in middle school. And it was, just, it was just too much for me. And I just didn't like it, you know? I was just, I, I was just always in something. Nothing, like, big. Like, I was never, like into like fight like to the point we're fighting but it was just like petty drama but right now i'm just over it now i'm just focused on me and i'm just chilling i'm chilling and it's like it's whatever i mean it's whatever um what's next i keep too many damn papers Shit. um Ooh, what is your favorite fast food place? My favorite fast food place of all time is Chick-fil-A. I love me some Chick-fil-A. This is what I get. You got the eight-piece little nuggets with the, um, what is it? What kind of fries are they called? Waffle fries? Yes. With either the lemonade, but you mix it with fruit punch, or the um, Oreo milkshake. Every time. You don't change anything with two um with two um what is it called ketchup sauces so my second one is subway but kind of over subway i don't know i have it too much you know when you have something too much and then you just get tired of it? okay let's see next question what is the oldest photo on your phone who is it or what is it and why why have it have you had it for so long um this one was a hard one. I don't know. Um, I guess I would say, I didn't even write this one down. I guess I would say screenshots. Screenshots. Mostly my my friends. As you can see, I'm very messy. I just have to be ready because I don't like to be caught off guard. So I just, I just have to always be ready for my friends to play with me and be like, and expose me, these ugly, ugly pictures of me, like throwback Thursday. I don't like those. Uh-uh. So I'm always ready. I only pull them out if it's an emergency situation. <laughs> Just one. I don't have a bunch, but that one, that one speaks. That one speaks loud. I like that one. <clears throat> hmm. Um, when was the last time you laughed really hard? <laughs> what happened? Okay. It was New Year's Eve, and... <laughs> I was home, just wa gonna watch a movie. My sister, her name's Deja, she used to go here. She was getting ready to go to a, um, a party and she her hair wasn't done. So she thought she could just put something together, da -da -da, she could find her the drawers. 
So she got a bunch of these nappy ass clippings and put then stuck them all over her hair. I mean, and me and my mom weren't home when this was happening because I would have stopped it. So when we get home, it was dark, so I couldn't really see. She comes to me, she's like, AJ, um, how does this look? This looks bad. I mean, it didn't look terrible. But I, it was it was off, and I didn't I didn't like it. But you know me, I was I was just trying to, I was just trying to go along with it so she would stop talking to me. But I was like, yeah, it looks good, it looks good, da da da, blah blah blah. Yeah, it's fine. Just maybe fix the front. <laughs> and my mom, my mom. Here's something about my mom. She is brutally honest all the time. I mean, she will hurt your feelings, but it's not like the kind of hurt your feelings like she doesn't know what she's talking about. 90% of the time, she's right. So I knew when she was, <laughs> when she walked over to her, it was about to be over, but she still was bold enough to do it. So I, so I was like, okay. My, she goes, hey, Ma, um, how does this look in my hair? My mom looked at her so hard. She's and my mom has the worst voice ever, so loud and aggravating. She, she, she didn't even care how she felt. All she said was, Girl, if you don't take that shit out your head right now. <laughs> when I tell you that was, I was laughing the rest of the night. I mean tears, tears was in my eyes. It was that funny. I mean, it was unbelievable. She was like, I know you're not stepping out of my house like that. And it was, <laughs> she, I mean, she was brutal. I said, damn. And then the funny part was, after she said that, my sister walks back in her room. Five minutes later, I go to check on her because I felt bad. I go in her room. She took out all them little curly little nap little clipping so fast and she was just she was pissed she was just didn't want to talk to nobody so she ended up not going to her party because she looked a mess but I felt like it was for the best because it was it's a, it was a mess it's a mess okay <laughs> man that was funny my stomach was hurting <laughs> okay let's see next that was funny um what major school events do you think you will go to? Well, I already said homecoming. I'm going homecoming. Um, I want to try to go to a little bit more football games this year because I hardly go to them. But not really much because I don't, like I said, I don't like being around a lot of people that I barely even know that aren't my friends that try to talk to me but I really don't want to talk to them. But I, you know, I got a fake, hey, how you doing, how you doing? Anyways, but that's about it. Let's see. Um, What do you think is going to be the biggest change in you between now and the end of the school year? I pray I get my um permit. I pray because it's been long overdue. Mm. And, oh, I'm doing volleyball club this year, my second year in a row. So, but it's a new club, so I'm, a, I'm excited for that. It'll be a big change because it's a whole different teacher. And, yeah, I'm excited for that. The biggest change for you. And last one, if you could describe your life right now in one song, what would it be? It would have to be Alicia Keys, girl on fire okay this girl is on fire this girl is on fire <laughs> the next 10 years i picture myself in a nice condo somewhere in miami somewhere where the water is beautiful with my mans and i was just out of college so you know i'm living like Okay, my favorite person would have to be Hallie Gail Anderson. She's not here right now personally, physically, because she lives in Utah now and I miss her so much, but I got her on the phone right here. Say something, Hallie.
My most memorable moment from last year would have to be when I went to Puerto Rico for my volleyball team because it was so beautiful and we won gold and we got medals and it was just so much fun and we went on a party bus. Um, the major conflict that I had was last year, my ninth grade year, it was with my Spanish teacher because I was constantly on my phone so eventually he got sick of me. It kicked me out the room and gave me a level one referral. But it's fine though. Go! A song that describes my school, mine and her school year is just three, five, six, seven, eight. I'm on some new shit. I'm stuck in my deuces. I love her. I'm on the other something better, better, better. I'm gonna try to make it work. I'm gonna say, my bad. Say, my bad. Say, my bad to her. <laughs> okay, the most memorable thing that I remember Scale will always say was the first Yeah, you, you said it. <laughs> that shit was funny. Okay. The most memorable thing that happened in Scale's class was about two weeks ago during we, <laughs> when we were testing and I brought my blanket and a pillow and I asked him if I could sleep in his class and he was like, yeah, I don't care. So I did and it was amazing. The best film that I've seen in Scales class will have to be Jaws. Okay, my favorite person at this school will have to be Miss Munion because she's very supportive. She helps me with my grades. She helped me get into dual enrollment so I can be here less. And she's not a real teacher. She's a guidance counselor, but I like her. So. My most memorable teacher would have to be Miss Munyon, who was my personal guidance counselor because she helped me with my grades. She made sure so I stayed on track. <laughs> and then um, she, um, shit, I can't even focus. She helped me get into dual enrollment so I could be here less, and I appreciate her so much. Ten years from now, I see myself just graduated from college, living in a fancy apartment near the beach with my beautiful football slash basketball husband. Um, the major conflict I had was last year, my ninth grade year, it was with my Spanish teacher because I was constantly on my phone. So eventually he got sick of me. It kicked me out the room and gave me a level one referral. But it's fine though. Honestly, I don't really care how y'all remember me. Just know I'm out here living my best life. I told you I'm living my best life. I told you I'm living my best life. <laughs> Honestly, I don't really care how y'all remember me. Just know I'm out here living my best life. I told you I'm living my best life. I told you I'm living my best life. <laughs> okay, I want to give a special thank you to all the people that gave me pennies, dollars. Orders, answers on tests, um, food when I was hungry. Thank all of y'all. Y'all the real ones. I appreciate that. <laughs>
Um, what is going to be the hardest thing about upcoming school year? Staying on task is schoolwork and being focused. What are my three goals I have for the school year? Keep up my grades, stay true to myself, and stay happy. What was your favorite, fa my favorite fast food place? It's Chick-fil-A, obviously. Um, what is the oldest photo you have on your phone? Uh, it's me and my closest cousin, which is like my best friend from all life. But I really don't know why, I just haven't looked at it. Uh, what was the last time that I laughed really hard? Uh, I laugh all the time, but probably when I was with my family and we always laugh. Uh, major school events that I think I'll go to, probably homecoming, games, and that's probably it. What do you think is going to be the biggest change between you and now in the school year? Um, my height, because I'm my mom, I'm tall, and probably my social life. I probably won't be as shy. If you describe your life right now, the song. <laughs> um, All American Girl by Carrie Underwood. <laughs> this is my favorite place because this is where I leave. This is the spot I chose other than my house for where I spend most of my time. And it's my sister's car. She loves me. This is my final video diary for the year. And... I'm going to answer my questions. Where will I be in 10 years? I hopefully I will be a nurse in pediatrics. Yes, hopefully. What was my most memorable memory of the last year? Was most likely homecoming with my best friend. It's a great time. Who was the most memorable teacher and why? My most memorable teacher was Coach Renato because he taught me more than just school. He taught about life too, and he was a great teacher. It's very funny. Did I have any conflicts with your teacher? No, I had no conflicts. What was the most memorable moment that happened in film? Probably filming the first video of this because I was a very nervous person going into that. What was the best film movie that we saw in this class? Probably Forrest Gump, because it's such a great movie. And then Teenage Perks of Being a Wallflower. Great movie too. Love that one. One thing that I remember Scahill said or did this year would have to be Every time somebody had their phone or headphones out, he'd say, I'm going to take them and I'm going to sell them so he can get his, his self the new version of the iPhone. Yeah. What would be my dream job after I graduate from high school? To be a pediatric nurse. If you could describe your school year in one song, what would it be? The song that I would have to... Describe a school year and it would have to be Love Yours by J. Cole because I just learned a lot about this year. What is one major thing that I learned I did not learn in classroom? Major thing that I learned is that you can't always depend on people. You have to actually do things for yourself and not depend on what other people are going to do for you. Is there anyone at HS you would like to thank and why? Um, I'd like to thank probably, I mean, my best friend, Hannah, just for being there and stuff. But also probably Coach Granado because he might not know it, but he's actually taught me a lot more than any other teacher and he's just a reading teacher. How do I hope to be remembered? I hope to be remembered as a kind person and somebody that made other people happy.
Okay, hello. My name is Marlon Maldonado. I'm in 11th grade. How is school so far? Oh, well, it is shit. I don't like it. I will never like a school. And I, feel, I think it's really boring. By the way, I don't give a fuck if you don't understand me. So just I just I'm just doing this for my grade. Okay. What was the last movie? It I didn't like it. It wasn't what I expected. So what is the most memorable thing about school? Oh, the first day of school, yeah, when I met Mr. Scale. Yeah. He's he's really sexy. Yeah. And he's really nice. Got a nice body. Yeah. What are you most looking forward to? Okay. What I really want to do is pass all my classes, get all my credits, and, you know, just go home and do nothing. My three goals are I want to stop smoking weed, using drugs. I want to, oh, make the soccer team. I've been working really hard to, to make it. What is the hardest thing in this school year? Well, working after school, yeah. Get working and getting good grades is really hard. You will see when you get older. My favorite fast food, well, I'm not Mexican, but I like Taco Bell. The Combo 9, the burritos and shit, I love, I love them. What is the oldest photo I have on my phone? <laughs> I have a picture of a girl with nice ass. Like a big ass, ass. Yeah. The last time I laughed really hard. I can't remember. I don't know. Well, what is going to be the biggest change between you? Okay. Nothing. Nothing can surprise me anymore. Only God knows. Maybe I will move. I don't know. I don't give a fuck about my life. Honestly, I don't care. If I die, I do this. I don't give a fuck. Okay, describe your life. Uh, maybe the song Mask Off. Yeah. Because sometimes I'm happy, but like if you say something, I will get really mad and I will talk shit. I don't know. Yeah. And that's it. Okay, what's your favorite song? It is. Tu no metes cabra by Bad Bunny, it's a Spanish song. Yeah, it is good. And that's it, that's all I have to say. Thank you, Mr. Alright, well, which one do I read? Because uh, you're standing in a memorial place, right? Oh, yeah, this is the right. memorial place. Where did this you? This is the memorial place, yes. Where did you spend the most time other than at your house? What was something memorable that happened there? Mm. What's the room number? Huh? What's that class number? I don't know. I think it's 450. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was memorable to me because the first day of school, this like hot Italian girl, she talked to me and we became friends. So I think that moment was very special. Okay. Where will you be in 10 years? In 10 years? Fuck. Um. Uh, I want to be a veterinarian, so I hope, I hope I can work, you know, in a zoo or in the army, you know, mm -hmm. helping with the animals and shit. What was your best memory of last year? Of last year? Oh, shit. Uh, the first time I smoked weed with my friends. <gasps> yeah, you, know, you can say whatever you want, right? You can say whatever you want. Who was the most memorable teacher and why? In this school? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, Miss Massey. She's, she's a black woman mm -hmm. with some beautiful eyes, but she, she's nice and she's always trying to help me. And I really appreciate her. All right. Did you have any conflicts with your teachers? If so, who, why, and what happened? Uh, not really. I, I'm always respectful to the teachers and I always try to do what they say and don't get too involved with them. Okay. 
Um, what was the most memorable moment that happened in this film TV class? Like slash TV class. So your class. Um, oh, I remember this day. Um, it was SK here. He was fighting with this girl and he was like making faces to her because mm -hmm. he was mad at her. Mm -hmm. And he was like showing the thong. It was funny. <laughs> What was the best film slash movie video that we saw in this class? Mm, the best. Mm, fuck, that's a hard one. Ah, uh, going with the with the wind. It was, a, it was really good. I watched it all and mm -hmm. I liked it. Um, what is the one thing you remember that Scale said or did this year? Uh, oh, today, today in the morning, um, he was talking about. How the camera used to like zoom when it was like they wanted to show when someone was happy, mm -hmm. and he made this happy face, and I found that really funny, and I was laughing. What is the one thing you remember that Skehills? Oh, I read that. What would be your dream job after you graduate <laughs> from high? Stop! Stop! <laughs> okay. Go. What would be your dream job after you graduate from high school? Will be what? Your dream job. Dream job. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I wanted to be a veterinarian, so if I get a job in a zoo or I get my like my own place, mm, you better hire me. Yeah, I will. I will. I love animals. You'll be the first one. If you could describe your school year in one song, what song would it be? A school year in one song. It has to be in Spanish or in English. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Probably not. I um, mean, there's this song that I like. I don't know if you heard. It's Chambea by Bad Bunny. No. <laughs> no, you wait. Forget. Shut up. Italian. Italian, yeah. Parla italiane and all that. <laughs> Ready? You, she's thick, by the way. She's real thick. Marlon. You know you can say whatever you want. Okay. Wait, um, let, me, let me show you. How no, is. stop. Marlon, I'm going to tell you. Stop it. Stop. Just say hi. Come on. No. That's it. Okay, go ahead. My bad. <laughs> Um, invite. You say you write. You write a list. <laughs> Stop trying to put it on. Look. Um, she gets it. Okay. Invite your favorite person to be in your video diary. Explain why they are your person and have them <laughs> say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I told you. <laughs> Wait, what do I say? Um, my favorite person is Ashley because she's nice. And whenever I need help, she helps me. And she, she's cute though, so it's kind of like an extra bonus. Oh my god. But like, I don't know, she's she's beautiful, but like, she doesn't give a fuck. She's beautiful, but she's still like, I come humble. Uh -huh. And that's what I like from her. Uh, thank you, Ashley. You <laughs> now you have to talk, you know? Well, what do I say? Just be like, you just answer the question. Um, Why? Just to have them say something. Yeah, like. Um, Why are you special? Tell me, like, how we became friends and all that. Uh, what is this notification so there? I don't know. Um, what should I say? What is this? Just fuck um, it. I don't know, Marlon. Be like, um. I like pizza a lot. It's like the best. There you go. Okay. Wait, wait, which number are we in? Um. 13. Shit, we're going too fast. Why? Because he says at least 20 minutes, I think. 20 minutes? Yeah, let's do it 10. Like, let's make it 10. 20 minutes? Yeah, I don't know. He tripping. He's crazy. Okay, okay, what is one major thing that you learned that you did not learn in a classroom? Ooh, wow. I learned that people are fake. You're right. People fake it all the time. They say things they didn't want to say. It's not because of Are you sure your class doesn't see this? Huh? Are you sure your class no, doesn't see this? Nobody's gonna see it. Um, what is what? That's uh, why I'm doing it. Because if the class gonna see it, I, I wouldn't do it. Hello? <laughs> um, is there anyone at Apopka High School you would like to thank and who and why? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Like who, would, like, who would you like to thank? To thank forward? I don't know, being nice, I guess. What I already said, Miss Massey, you. Okay. There's nobody else. No, I already said who. Wrap it up. How do you hope to be remembered? Fuck. How do I hope to be remembered? 
I know someone respectful that I always try to do his best and and do you think I'm nice? Sometimes. And that I try to be nice sometimes. But like yeah, that's it. Are we done? Yeah. Damn. Oh wait, wrap it up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's see again. So how do we finish this? be like okay bye and you have to like stop it oh no we have to say something cool to unfinish it uh to me because he said he's gonna show it like in 2020 i think to who to me like you better not po- he said he's gonna post his youtube didn't he i think so yes marlon it's okay you will be like, how old you'll be like 30 hopefully it's like two two, two years from now You'll be like 21. Who's showing this when? Yeah. When? Uh, 2020. Holy shit. Okay. Well, peace out. Uh, do your best, Marlon, and don't smoke. <laughs> and Ashley, uh, you're sexy. Alright, so my name is Ben Ebright. The date is, um, actually I have no idea the date, hold on. It is September 27th, 2017. I am in 10th grade. Um, the school year so far is alright, I mean, got straight C's, so that's alright. Um... My favorite song right now, um, Nav, Perfect Timing. Yeah, that's a good song. Um, what was the last movie I saw, and was it good or bad? Why? Um, last movie I saw. I have no idea what the last movie I saw was. Um, last movie I remember seeing was that Annabelle Creations movie. Was that horror movie. I didn't like it that much. I'm not a horror. My girlfriend made me see it. But what was what is the most memorable thing that has happened in the first few weeks of school? Conor McGregor fight. Floyd Mayweather. Big fight. I had a lot of money on that fight. Lost a little bit of money. It's all right, though. It's cool. What are you most looking forward to in this upcoming school year? Wait. Yeah, what are you most looking for upcoming this year? Um, football games. Um, I don't know, school, school. I'm not really looking forward to anything about school, to be honest. Um, what's going to be the hardest thing about this upcoming school year? Grades, keeping them at a decent thing, not Ds or Fs. That's going to be a struggle. I, I'm not good at that. Um, what are my goals for this school year? Again, keeping my grades up, staying where I want to be with my grades, which is at least a C or above. Um, three goals actually. Um, second goal. Um, try to go as many football games as I can. At least go to some school events like homecoming, prom. Not usually good at making those things. Those are my three goals. It was my favorite fast food place. I really like Wendy's. Wendy's is great. The Baconator, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is also really good. Yeah, the milkshakes are really good milkshakes. Um, was the oldest photo on my phone? Okay, <laughs> so actually the oldest photo on my phone is, phone is a picture of my grandma biting me last year on Christmas. It's like an old inside joke that me and my grandma have and like my mom when I was like four years old or something, I bit my sister. And so my grandma took me and she bit me and I cried a lot as a four year old. And so we reenacted that picture like 2016 Christmas, 2015, something like that. That's 
a good memory. Um, what was the last time I laughed really hard? All right, so I I shouldn't have laughed at this, but I did. I was I was talking to my friend, and I was talking about my dead dog, and for some reason. She said that bit six feet under, and I don't. It just made me laugh really hard. I laughed for like a good ten minutes at that. I don't know why, but I did. Um, what major school events do you think you? Oh, okay. Um, probably gonna go to all the games. Hopefully, if I can make it to all of them. Thinking about going to homecoming, probably prom. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do about all that. But I'm gonna try to go to most of them. Um, buying the tickets is kind of a struggle. Um, what do you think is going to be the biggest change in between now and the end of school? Um, hopefully everything. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Hopefully a lot of things. I want to see a change by the end of the year, but. I don't know. I guess that's, I can't answer that though. I can't say, I don't know. So biggest change, my grades. Still C's, C point average, regular, and just not the greatest grades. So that would be a nice change. If you could describe your life right now in one song, what would it be? Easy, easy like Sunday morning, cause I'm just easy going. I'll just, um, yeah, I'll just, easy, easy like. Benny Bright. This is my Skate Hill project. For the questions part. First question, where will I be in 10 years? Hopefully out of college, looking for a job. Hopefully not in my parents' house still. Don't really have high hopes for the next 10 years, but hopefully we got somewhere. My best memory of last year would probably be um, just going to all the football games, playing football, getting my concussion. That shouldn't be the best memory, but not much happened last year. My most memorable teacher, and why? I have two. You and Lee for Skayhill, you're just fun, great teacher. Fun to be around, and then Leafers, Leafers, also really fun to be around. Great person, great teacher. Um, any conflicts with my teachers? No, I don't really have conflicts with my teachers. I'm a somebody's hunting their horn. I don't like that. Stop. Okay. Um, <clears throat> pretty easy going. Don't really get any conflicts with my teachers. Um, most memorable, memorable moment in my film class. <laughs> Probably Leanne throwing a paper at a group of girls just to try and start drama. And then everyone got heated and there was no reason for it. But it was funny. The best movie in this film class we probably watched, honestly, it was probably Star Wars. I hadn't seen Star Wars before we watched it in your class, so I enjoyed it. It was a good time. Something Scahill said or did, memorable. Um, wears a lot of vests, always tells us to stop watching porn. Those are some good quotes by Scahill. My dream job, <coughs> um... I don't really know. I don't know what I want to do when I'm older. No idea. Song, my the song that um, best describes my year. I use the same song as the beginning of the year. Easy like Sunday morning. I'm just going with the flow, not worrying about it. Something learned not in school. Um, how to drive. I ain't learned how to drive in school. I drove here. I did that. Um. And when I'd like to thank um, my mom and dad. Well, they're not at Apopka High School. Bleefers and Scale. That's who I'd like to thank. I'm wrapping it up. Well, the year's been fun. Looking forward to many more. Well, two more. Not many more. But looking forward to the two more that I got. I'm going to try my hardest, get good grades, and... Move on throughout college.
Um, I'm Crystal Brew, and it is September 28th, 2017. Um, I'm in 10th grade. Um, school so far is not how I expected it to be. I was expecting it to be like more exciting, but I guess it's the age where it's like you're not an upperclassman, but you're not a lowerclassman. I mean, it's not going great. It's kind of school. Last movie I saw, I could remember was Spider-Man. It was good, except there was a bunch of like weird like nerds sitting like next to us, commenting about everything on the movie. So that's all right. The most memorable thing that has happened in the first weeks of school, this is kind of an obvious one, but Hurricane Irma, that was um, just like having a week off school and like realizing like the stuff we take for granted, like light and everything like that. Um, my dad made battery packs out of like a car battery and a bunch of batteries. Um, I we had like candles as light and we like played Monopoly as a family. Like having no air with one fan for five people is not fun. Um, uh, was what are you most looking forward to this upcoming school year? Probably homecoming because it's on my birthday this year, so it'll be fun. Um, What's going to be the hardest thing about upcoming year? I'm um, trying to stay focused and on top of work because I've not been doing good at that this year. It's probably that. Three goals you have this year is to get a job and still be on track with work, um, to like keep, get on track with my grades and have A's and B's, and to like stop caring what people think so much about me. It's definitely like my main goals. Favorite fast food place? Hands down, Chick-fil-A. It's the best fast food place ever. Um, Oldest photo on my phone. Okay, I don't remember this one. I'm just pulling my phone out. I've had this phone for like centuries, and hopefully, I have a new phone by the end of this year. Okay, we'll see. Oh, it's a picture of me and Casey and my best friend. Hey, um, on a couch when we were like in sixth grade. It was it's weird. When was the last time you laughed really hard? Um, it was like two days ago. We went to like International Drive and my mom was like riding a bull. My mom's like 40 something. And it was just hilarious watching her like get out of her comfort zone and just like ride a bull. Major events you think will happen, well, you'll go to. I'm gonna try to go to everything, like everything that I can, like games and homecoming and everything. Um, that's the plan. What do you think is gonna be the biggest change in between you and now that? Um, I'll hopefully be more responsible, like have a job um, by the end of school. Hopefully I can drive better. I can be more confident in myself, not care what people think as much. Just like my whole mindset and everything, like hopefully all that will change. Um, if you could describe your life right now in one song, what would it be? I generally do not know, but there has to be a song out there called I Don't Know, so my whole life is one big I don't know because I don't know everything, anything. Okay, this is the intro to my video yeah. diary. Okay, this is the most memorable place at Apopka because we made racking here in SGA. So my the besties. Camera. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, SGA was the most memorable. We the boys. <laughs> okay, so where will it be in 10 years? 10 years, um, hopefully I have a stable job. Um, I'm literally opening my Snapchat. I have a stable job. I'll be like happy, maybe engaged, or at least like. Ah! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's so weird. Wait, shut up. It's so. Get my phone. I can't ever really like tell where I'm going to be in 10 years, but hopefully. Hopefully it's in a, deported. <laughs> in a good place. So. Like Michael, we're not really friends, but he's in my film class and he's my interviewer. Yes, I guess I'm doing this. What is the most memorable moment that happened in this film slash TV class? Josh. I am the most memorable. <laughs> Add me over to the Teen SWAT. I tell you, I'm going to be lit all year, all day, every day. Okay. 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 I have to, I had to edit some of what he said out, but <laughs> he just, you can tell why he's very memorable because he's He just does weird stuff in our class. These are other people who just showed up. Okay, so the best memory of last year probably <laughs> was like Candlelight and which was like when Chorus goes things like, like Epcot and Neil Patrick Harris <laughs> was like in disguise and like touched me, so that's cool. I've never seen a celebrity in person before. <laughs> okay.
Bye. I'm freaked out. I am out. Okay, so one of the, like, my most memorable teachers. Oh. <laughs> it's probably Miss Hoover's because she was a really, really good English teacher. English. My sixth English. 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 Yes, she we did. English teacher. English teacher. I, I went to her. I think her. I've never gotten a five. I love her. She's such a good teacher. English? I really like... Shut up. I really liked my sixth grade she math teacher, Mr. Sarnecki. I don't know where he is right now, but, like, that was my dog. And then Skakel, obviously, he's super memorable and, like, memorable. says crazy things all the crazy time. So. Things. What's wrong with school? Okay, kids? one thing that I... Ah, titties! This year, especially this year, my 10th grade year, <sighs> has to be to not care too much about what other people think and just kind of do you, focus on yourself... And uh, just be nice. Be nice. Just be nice. Peace, positivity, <sighs> and prosperity. Just be nice. Like I promise you, like it'll help you in the long run. Just be nice. I Don't be so mean. I need more questions. <sighs> okay. Did I have any conflicts with my teachers? The only <laughs> thing I can. Are you recording? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I almost farted. <laughs> The only thing I could think of was, um, I mean, shout out to Angel. He was pretty cool, too. I just took his AP Angel. World History test, which I'm probably going to have to retake. But, like, um, yeah, he, like, gave me a bad review to get into SJA, but I still have an SJA, so, like, jokes on him. <laughs> but, like, that's the only th conflict that I can, like, think that I had. Also, my, um, Mr. Verdon, my, um, oh my God. Spanish. <laughs> he tried to ever give me a referral for eating class. <laughs> So that's like, oh, okay. yeah, that's all. So what we smoke weed, we're just having fun, we don't care who sees. <laughs> okay, that's my song to describe my year this year. Living young and wild and free. Yeah, it's the song to describe my year this year. Bye. Okay, I'm gonna have to say the best movie or like filmed film we've watched is either The Sixth Sense, which is like a classic, or Sybil, which we recently watched. And I just like like psychiatry stuff and like knowing what's going on in someone's mind and the fact that it was like a true story is more like interesting to me. So yeah, I like this too. People, I'd like to thank Apopka. Definitely, like any like teacher or faculty that like truly takes the time to like know their students and connect a relationship with them or like create a relationship with them and like genuinely enjoy their job and like want to be there and it just makes like learning or being there like 10 times better um and also the group of people that I've met this year especially like my 10th grade year after like being like kind of in a bad place i'd have to say yeah the group of friends now that i have they're all like so positive and it's like always a good time when i'm with them and i'm like the best version of myself so shout out to everyone okay i would say my dream job after high school would be something like youtube or like, working in an office that has to do with, like, making videos and, like, entertaining people. I'm really bad at talking and speaking and pronunciating, so I feel like it's not the best for me, but that's definitely something that I've always been into or, like, interested in. So, yeah. Okay, these are my favorite people, Rocking. Oh, that's cool. This is my favorite person, my favorite people, my favorite couple. I hope they're still together then, and I just met the people, but they're pretty cool. <laughs> another one of my favorite people. Another one of my favorite okay, people is... Okay. Okay, I'm ready. She's another one of my favorite people <laughs> because just look at her Hi. laugh. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> look at oh. her laugh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and she lives in my neighborhood. I know her neighbors. And we like walk over to each other's house all the time. And this is really shaky, but um, yeah, this is one of my favorite people. I'm her favorite person because we're BFS slash sisters. We never had an argument in our lives. She's gonna we, be in. Yeah. We've been friends since sixth grade. And our favorite memory together is the our cruise. cruise. Anyways, yeah, that's my favorite person. Okay, <laughs> take four, take four. Okay. A teacher I like to thank is because <laughs> it's Miss Schaefer because I love her so much. Um, she's one of my favorite teachers of the entire school. I love her so much. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
this is a big thing for me and how I hope to be remembered and I 100% hope to be remembered as the person that like always try to stay positive always try to be happy like just try to be the best person or version of myself that I can be and like just like a nice overall nice person to people I just want to be remembered as that like if I die tomorrow and people could like genuinely say that about me and genuinely say that I like put a smile on their faces or just made them happy that's how I want to be remembered I look ugly. Oh my god. That's every day. What's up, guys? Oh my god. Can we get a mile on me? Two words, one thing. Why is there like 30 of us? So, what are we doing again? We have too many plans for one night. <laughs> what the this conversation always they gracious your paper Why do all girls? <laughs> 